This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. States of America and uh, home of the free, land of the brave, and uh, a big fat fucking lie. Okay, I, I just thought I'd add that because I got Phil coming on here, and I'm not about ready to just you know. I'm I'm I'm. Uh, hello, Phil. How are you? How you All doing? Right. Oh, All here right. are two people waiting in the waiting room. There. Okay. Uh, don't, nobody That's call yet. Alex is waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Twenty-two on the live chat. Uh, 22 on the live chat? Yeah, it says top chat 22. No, it, it's 22 people are watching right now. Yeah. Which okay. means nobody watches this goddamn thing, so why are we even doing it? Uh, you tell me. Uh, you know, your mayoral race yeah. is the most exciting thing happening right now. Uh, Curtis Sweewa. Sliwa? is uh, is the re- is one of the Republican candidates. There's yeah. two. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Eric Adams, the guy that I would support, uh, he's a Democrat mm-hmm. and most likely going to win. That's why I didn't vote for him. Now, who would you vote for, Yang? And uh, no, I no, no, no. Well, you know, we get we get this first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Right. How does that work? I went for this uh, Garcia woman or whatever her name was. Uh, she mm-hmm. was she was recommended by the New York Times, and I figured, ah, what the hell, I'll, I'll go is along that, with that. Is that the one that Yang teamed up with? No, 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 no. Uh, which no. one did he team I, I don't know who he teamed up with. Yang, I mean, don't pull my Yang, okay? <laughs> he might hand you some money, I, though. I mean, what, no, but why would I want Yang? Uh, the guy is just not a New Yorker, all right? And he hasn't held any political office. And we should have learned that one a long time ago, right? Yeah. So I couldn't even bring myself to vote for him, even for number five. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, he's but, the one for uh, basic, uh, basic income. Well, he, uh, I mean, that's very nice. You know, all these guys, they can promise anything they want to. They can say what they're for. As to whether they're ever going to be able to get it or not is is the larger question, you know. Yeah. So I mean, who knows? Who knows? So yeah, uh, you know, there, there's other stuff uh, going on. Mm-hmm. Um, what's her name? Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. She went to uh, uh, Guatemala. That was that was weeks ago. Yeah, but did you hear what she said? She went there weeks ago. I heard what she said weeks ago. Yeah, she says, oh, don't, don't come. Don't, don't come <laughs> to the Guatemala. Well, she didn't say it that way. <laughs> okay, you're embellishing on it. You're making it sound like she was in the middle of a sexual act. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That's probably what it was. Yeah. I mean, you love to make fun of these people because you don't like them, but they've only been in office for a short amount of time, so how you can have an opinion about them? I don't even have an opinion about them yet. You know, more damage than uh, than I care to. Like what? Like what? Well, uh, there's. It's not just them, but it's Biden and what's going on in the uh, Congress right now mm-hmm. with uh, S one or and and the Senate. Uh, it seems as though there's uh, a 50-50 split. Uh, they want to do away with the filibuster, which means there'd be no more partisanship. Yeah. They want uh, they want to add uh, two senators from uh, Washington D.C., which is not the way Washington D.C. was. Well, Washington should be a Washington should be a state. Well, they should give Washington back to uh, uh, Maryland, who loaned it to this country. But no, I think that it should be its own city now. It should be its own state because it has so many people with so many problems that cannot be attended to. By uh, by by uh, making it a district like it is, 
you know, make the Capitol, make the uh, the um, uh, White House, make them part of a special district, and leave the rest of it to people. The whole idea of the founding fathers was that uh, it not be a state, so that it could be the capital without uh, having uh, the sway one way or another. Well, there's no sway. I mean, to begin with, uh, the the uh, the uh, capital of the United States wasn't Washington D.C. Uh, it was Philadelphia. It was Philadelphia, and that was a state. So big deal. That's, that's why they moved it to yeah, Washington. Yeah. Well, you know, you 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 will believe in anything that makes your easier for your side to exist. I mean, it's like this whole thing about voting now, and about mm -hmm. the the different things you can do with voting, and the you know the voting rights of the citizens. The Republicans want everything that would literally limit people's ability to vote. You mean like making it. Fair and no, honest? no. How's it fair and honest? Tell well, me. You know, when, when you send out ballots willy nilly. No, 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 no. You're, 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 no, you're, you're, pill, you're but they live there or they don't live. You're there. jumping on something which is a myth, to begin it's with. It's an absolute it's, myth. Yes, they're sending out ballots to people who are registered to vote. Yes, but many of them don't live at those addresses anymore, and so therefore they're unverified. Uh, well, then they can't. Then whoever gets that ballot can't vote because they've got to prove who they are. You know, in Georgia, they just took a hundred thousand people off that roster. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because they want the Republicans to win. Well, they move. They want to. They want to keep. Well, they want to keep black people from voting. They are the most transient population you have. You, you know, know that, that's as you said. That's racist. Uh, you know, uh, how could you say that they're a transient population? They're they're like everybody else. They get up in the morning, they go out, they work, they uh, they earn a living, they kiss their kids. You know, some of them don't have jobs because they can't get them. There's a lot of other people that don't have jobs either. I don't have a job. Yeah, well, you've got a future. In and my name's Schwarzman, so I'm a black man. If you realize yeah. that, that's uh, truly a black man. Black man, yes, that's true. Yeah. Uh, but, but as I said, you do have a future in floor covering sales. Uh -huh. so. Well, I'm I'm planning on it. <laughs> if, you, if you come out here, I got a job for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, let's see. I just spent yeah. I just spent a thousand dollars on Amazon. Yeah. To buy uh, four, uh, eight eight gigabyte eight terabyte hard drives for my raid. That's what I have. You have eight terabytes in them. I have uh, five eight terabyte. Five eight terabytes. Well, I have. I'm going to have four eight terabytes. Yeah. 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 I decided to go to the eight terabytes because I need more space. Are uh, you going to make it a RAID six? No. Because you still end up with about twenty. Nobody knows what we're talking about, so let's not even. I just oh. said I, I, I. I Nobody's I, listening either. And so. I also got. I got a new uh, new Echo. I got one more Echo. Really? Uh, I bought a Fire Stick uh, from Amazon. I had gotten the Chromecast, and it's too hard to use. Uh, I hooked it up. You why, don't you, why don't you just use the Roku? Uh, because I can't get a Google TV on the Roku. Oh, you will be soon. Don't worry. They'll, they'll eventually let. Well, you know. now I got the Fire Stick, and I have the Roku, too, so I'll just put them on two different... Uh, HDMI ports, and uh, I, you know, I, if there's things on the Roku yeah. I want to see, uh, I can see them. There's really nothing on there that I want to see. The only reason up. I'm hating Roku lately yeah. is it used to be you got a Roku, uh, you put on all the apps, you watch stuff. Right. Now they're trying to upsell you to other stuff. Hey, here's the Roku channel. Hey, why don't you pay for movies on the Roku channel? Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah. And I'm going, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I bought something that once I use it, I just want to be able to get full use out of it and not suddenly have you upselling me all kinds of crap. Now, uh, I, I do watch YouTube on the Roku, yeah. and, and it's making me watch a million commercials. Do you? I thought you said that you had YouTube with no commercials for, by paying a couple of extra no, bucks. No, I don't. No. Oh, no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. And I don't, I don't think that does away with the commercials. I think it just allows you to have a certain amount of services that you wouldn't otherwise have. Oh, uh, it's, getting, it's getting worse and yeah. worse. I, I was watching a news thing that put seven commercials in a row. 
seven. Oh well, now that now that is the that is the channel itself that you were doing. You're probably going to like CNN on Roku, yes. and then they run like X number of, of spots. They're their own spots. If you go to uh, uh, YouTube, usually it's one uh, five Two, five second <laughs> spot. Maybe it's a ten second spot. Maybe yeah. it's a, a, a two-minute spot, but they let you get out of it after uh, five seconds. Uh, so, you know, but I, I don't mind that. That's a, a small you amount. sit there with the remote control waiting for the yeah. skip. So, uh, what, are you lazy? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, if, if there was a way that I could pay an extra two, four, five bucks a month and not have to do that, I would do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. So hey, what? 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 Yeah, what, what, what did you get that you have no commercials? No, I didn't say that. I, I, Something I, else you no, have. I bought, a, I, bought a, I bought myself a new Echo today. Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse me, I, I just said it, and now it's, it's expected. I haven't, I haven't gotten an Echo yet. Or, well, uh, oh, well I, not, I got a new one for the, uh, the kitchen. It's their yeah. new 8, and it actually has a camera that kind of centers you in the picture. Wherever you, if you move over to the side, it'll center you in the picture if you want it to. Mm -hmm. That's and scary. but but the sound is better, the picture the camera is higher quality, the screen is higher quality. It's really, really terrific. So I'm now I have an echo in my. Yeah. In, are you ready for this? In my kitchen, yeah. my living room, right. my bedroom, my guest room, my office right here. Okay, and now the bathroom. So does Echo say, "Don't come, don't come"? No, no, no. But it it really it it uh, 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 I can now turn on on and off the lights anywhere in the house from any room in the house. What's wrong with the light switch? Because have you been to my place? I, we don't. I, do you know how many light switches I have in this in this? Uh, I think I remember you saying there was like one or two. Two. Yeah. Two light switches. The rest are sconces. But for instance, I can say, uh, for instance, uh, Echo, turn off studio. Let's see if you can see a difference in the light. See the light went down a little bit? A little e bit yeah. Echo, turn on studio. Yeah, I, I, see, I see a little difference. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could turn this off and then you'd see it. Wait a minute. Echo, well, look at that. All that with no. Uh, Echo, turn on st off studio. See? Wow, it's dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so I'll turn I, that I back on. Echo, on turn red. on studio. Hmm? I see you're on the red. I'm on the red. Yeah, that's the red. Yeah. 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 You're up so, to blue. What's blue? Yeah. The the hardest. Yeah. So these far. are these are things we old guys get for arthritis. It's great. Uh, you know, I don't I, know. It hasn't helped me that much. You know what I did uh, yesterday. Yeah, I had a big thrill. I had the one thrill that I have in my life, it didn't used to be. But one thrill I have in my life, I went to my urologist. Yeah, I'm like I hate urologists. Yeah, you know I've never had a urologist I liked, but I finally found one. Are they still cutting themselves on your prostate? Well, wait a minute, hold on a second. So uh, I uh, I go into him because here's what happened. I, I, had my, I had a cancer operation last year, and you're supposed to get this PSA test about every three months after the, after the prostate thing, right? I'm due. Huh? I'm due for one. Yeah, yeah. So I, um, I, I, I got a hold of my doctor who did the operation. I said, shouldn't I have a, a PSA test? And I wrote them using my chart, which is the my, Mount Sinai messaging system. They never heard back from them. Finally, I write to the guy's nurse, and he says, "Oh, we don't use my chart. Uh, well, if you want it, okay. If you if you want to go use your urologist, go use him." She didn't care. She didn't give a shit. They already got paid. So I wrote my uh, I wrote to my uh, my doctor. All right, uh, my urologist, and I said, "What should I do about this?" He said, "Basically, they don't give a shit." He said, "Don't. There's no need for you to go back to them ever again, ever." Really? Yeah. He says, "Come to me. We'll do the test. You'll get it. We'll get the results the next day, and you'll be in and out of here." Okay. 
So I figured I'd, I'd do it. So I went down. I had to. I I went down to him and. He did the full thing. I didn't think he was going to do the full thing. I didn't think he was going to stick his finger up my ass and the touch full it <laughs> and go for the prostate because I got seeds in there now. Right. But he, I said, don't you, don't cut yourself on the seeds. He says, no. He says, we don't feel the actual prostate. I didn't realize this. He said, we feel the membrane between the between the rectum and the prostate, and that's how where we feel it. Okay. Okay. So I said, well, good. So he went and he did that. And then they drew, drew some blood and he said, I'll get back to you as soon as I uh, get the results. You know, I'll send you an email. And so uh, all last night, of course, I am apoplectic about this because every time I've ever gotten one of these tests, I worry about it for the whole <laughs> next day or two days or three days or how long it there's takes to get false, it back. Huh? There's false negatives too, or false positives. Yeah, and they're false negatives too. But anyway, uh, the PSA is a test they have that if it's, if it's higher, they think maybe you have cancer. That's the best way to put it. And if it's lower, you're okay. Yeah. So the first time I got one, it was like uh, a, a 0.2. Um, and uh, so he took the test and I got it back. And guess what? Zero? Pretty much non-discernible, non-detectable. No cancer detected. No PSA detected. Wow. Zero. Zilcho. And this wow. is after about a year and five months or something after I got, or four months after I got the, uh, the, well, uh, sit um, uh, mine are supposed to be no detectable. Yeah. And, uh, then, uh, over last summer, mm -hmm. uh, they detected some, so they put me through seven weeks of radiation. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, well, well, well I'm, uh, I think probably this is something I probably shouldn't worry about anymore. You yeah, know? I think you're good. You know? I think I'm pretty good. And this doctor is just the best. I mean, is, he's just oh, terrific. Short, huh? Is this the short fingers? No, this is not short fingers. No. Oh, okay. No, this guy's really good. You know what it is? I've never had a urologist. And I've been told by doctors, urologists are just a weird bunch of guys, you know. And you'd be weird too if all day long all you were doing was sticking fingers up asses and and testing urine uh, samples, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they go into that. I, you know. Well, they... every time it, it, women don't. I don't know if women have this happen to them, but every time a guy goes to a urologist, the first thing they do before they send you into the doctor is they have you pee in a cup. Right. They always want to check your urine, you know. And I always had blood in my urine, small detect, a uh, small amount, but blood in my urine. And after a while, I told him it's just normal for me, you know. So anyway, uh, but the, the, you know, but you go in there and they just—it's a weird profession, okay. And to, and I was told by one doctor, oh, they're just weird, you know. No wonder you don't like them. And I never found a urologist I liked. I must have gone to five of them, and I hated every last one of them. And then uh, I, I met, just, and I came up with this guy, and he's yeah. just a gem. He's a really decent human being, you know, and he he's really gotta, cares, huh? Yeah, you know, he's got to be to do what he does. Oh yeah. yeah, but I mean, he really is terrific and nice and considerate, and you know, he got back to me this morning. He wrote the email at eight forty-five, so uh -huh. he, he he when he first got in the office, he probably saw the test immediately sent me a note and um uh, it, it it he said it was wonderful so i he says you don't have to come back for 11 months or nine months we'll do another well, that, one in nine that's months great. yeah i need i need to go in and do one uh because i've had uh, a couple since uh, the radiation they've been negative yeah but uh you know this uh, this prostate stuff is a pain in the ass a friend of mine a pain in the ass uh thank you very much da, 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 da. It will be here all night ladies and gentlemen and have a so yeah a friend of mine uh had to take a plane flight he's going to israel he's uh he's working and uh the company that he's working for mm -hmm. got him a coach fare and didn't get him an aisle seat and he says i have to get up and pee every hour uh, and I don't, I don't know. I, don't I say this to any guys out there, and when you reach about sixty, this starts happening. You know, you start realizing you got up twice last night to go to the bathroom, and then it's three times a night, and then it's four times a night. Before you know it, 
you can't go without peeing. You're working, you're getting up every 20 minutes and going to the bathroom. Yeah. As soon as that happens, just go to see a urologist. I'll give you the name of mine if you live in New York because he's great, okay? okay you can you just go to a urologist. He'll check you out. He'll say, yeah, your prostate's getting large. He'll give you some medicine for it that will help shrink it. Uh, there are several different uh, medicines that they can, uh, they can give you, one of which is... Uh, is it will give you a heart on yeah uh you know it's 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 meant for that and it also yeah, cialis it's the, yeah the generic for say cialis which is called tadat tadatafil or something like that yeah and just uh, do it just do it don't be afraid of it because i mean it's more annoying to have to take a pee every five minutes phil used to drive down the road with a jar well every once in a while i still need it uh, you know, you, really? you get those emergency pees. Well, you you also had your prostate removed, right? Which I didn't. You know, yeah. mine's still there. Doesn't well, do much of anything, but it's still there. I couldn't do the seeds because my prostate was too large. Yeah, they were afraid uh, that maybe uh, plants would flourish in there. Uh, no, uh, they, they said the seeds only work if it's under. Uh, I don't know what the measurement is, but it's sixty. And mine was 135. Well, he did the whole thing. I had radiation and I had the seeds. You know, yeah. By the same guy, by the way, who did Rudy Giuliani. Right. And Rudy Giuliani <laughs> has uh, endorsed Curtis Sweewa. Well, good for him. That's the yeah. kiss of death for Curtis. Now, how come uh, uh, de Blasio's not running again? I thought he was going to run again. No, he can't, I don't think, anymore. I don't. I don't know if that's been done away with that, you know. Yeah. That three-term thing that uh, I think Bloomberg got an exception. It wasn't the rule. I see. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, Curtis Lewa, I, I know Curtis. I mean, oh. Cur Curtis, uh, is a, I'm, a, I'm a fan. He's a fan of mine. Right. He's uh, the head of the Guardian Angels. He was. I don't know if he still is. Yeah. But, okay. you know, I, I, I never liked the Guardian Angels. I thought they were a piece of shit. You know, I don't, I, I, uh, I don't believe in vigilantes. Okay, I just it somehow it doesn't appeal to me. But uh, you know, and I never had great respect for Curtis Sliwa because of his politics. And one day, his producer calls me and says, "Curtis wants you to be on his show." And I went, "Why?" And he said, "He's a fan." Really? So I said, "Okay." So you know, we went on both knowing that we neither of us agreed with each other's politics, but you know we'd respect it, and we had a nice conversation. You know, so hey, what, what's that stuff going on? I think it's in Texas where they're coming up with some things where children can't uh, be uh, uh, get uh, shots like testosterone if they if it's a woman if it's a girl and they want to be a guy, uh, transgender. Uh, things and they're and they're stopping children from doing it. I guess there are children as as young as twelve that are doing these transitions, and uh, so now they're coming up with laws saying, well, if you want to do it as an adult, you can do it, but as a child. Well, you know, I I think if a parent lets them do it, then maybe they have a doctor who agrees with it that uh, they can do it. You know, and also if they're doing uh, hormones and things like that, the minute you stop them. You know, yeah. you're, you know, you, you just revert to the way you were. Uh, uh, you know, what I was uh, hearing on the news was that it was not reversible. Uh, you know, that it does damage, uh, that they can't be reversed. Well, I guess, oh, you know what it is? It's when a woman has her uterus removed and... Uh, uh, a hysterectomy. Uh, has a hysterectomy and a mastectomy. Uh, yeah, yeah, but they usually don't. They usually don't do that till after, you know, they're eighteen. And you know, I agree with you if you'd say maybe it's not a good idea to do that uh, that early because even though these people probably will not change their mind, uh, it's still there's a it's a time in their life where they are changeable, you know. Yeah. Uh, and as as that young, you know, that that's some of the stuff that's going on in the news today, and and then I heard. There was something else. Oh, the city of Randolph, New Jersey, uh, tried to eliminate all holidays from their calendar. Well, so, oh, by the way, you know, Randolph, New Jersey, interesting uh, factoid here, was named after Randolph Scott. Did you know that? Oh. 
No, it wasn't. I was just giving you a bad time. Oh, okay. I, I, I could have left you with that information, and you'd be going around telling everybody for the rest of your life. You know, Randolph, New Jersey was named after Randolph Scott. I, if that factoid ever came up uh, in my life, uh, I, I, I would doubt it. You know? If it ever came up on, uh, you know, Jeopardy. Yeah, you and know. then you'd make me lose. Yeah, you'd lose. <laughs> yeah, lots of luck. No, it was get... named after Lillian Randolph. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Randolph Hearst. Randolph Hearst was named after Randolph Hearst, right? But uh, 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 any other pieces of news that bothered you at all? I, you know, I thought it, I thought it was interesting that uh, there's there's backlash now on all of this wokeness. Uh, you know, where uh, uh, people are uh, the school systems and. Uh, trying to be more and more uh, uh, correct and uh, you know now there's some backlash so it looks like the pendulum might be swinging the other way so what did you do for uh, Juneteenth oh uh, I um, didn't do anything <laughs> I went to work but you know Juneteenth and Cinco de Mayo were the two holidays at, at the police department that we always had riots, and uh, I, re I remember there was a, uh, a Cinco de Mayo, I think, I, I had my riot helmet on, I got hit by a rock, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, it, those, those, uh, those are riot days, and, and there's a lot of shootings going on. There was even shootings in Richmond, two, two people died seven wounded but they were guatemalan well i don't give a shit because i've decided this whole country is going to hell in a handbasket yeah you know well, and and i don't really give a crap there's going to be more holidays that the bank is closed than there are days in the year you see what happens is every time they have a national holiday it's great that you know these people are recognized and those people are recognized and of mm -hmm. course biden when he was asked about juneteenth uh, he thought it was the uh, Tulsa massacre, and uh, uh, made some sort of statement that uh, you know that he he didn't really know what most Juneteenth people was. didn't know what Juneteenth was. In fact, uh, Charlie Wallace, who's black, mm -hmm. said he didn't learn what Juneteenth was till he moved to Texas. Prior yeah. to that, he never heard of it, and well, I think it is the worst name for a holiday. You know. Uh, yeah. I think that the, the name that should have probably been chosen, if they were going to be celebrating that, was Emancipation Day. Yeah. That would be a be much better name than Juneteenth. Well, what the fuck is Juneteenth? Well, it's Independence Day, they're saying. So, uh, no, but, but it's not Independence Day. I know. There is an Independence Day, and it's, and it's misleading, and I think you're right. And I, I think by saying that that day initiated independence for blacks in America is to negate the fact that blacks didn't get their freedom for many, many years, until many, many years later, when they fought for it in the 70s, 60s, you know, in the 50s and 60s. Um, uh, up until then, you know, they weren't really emancipated. They were enslaved in a whole different way. Well, you know, there was an amendment in the Constitution that uh, that that took care of that. Along That's fine, but it didn't it didn't cur it, it didn't do anything for them. They still were enslaved. They were still working as sharecroppers, things like that in the South. You know, so how do you determine? when emancipation took place. I, I think that my answer to all of that is, if you want to celebrate something, celebrate emancipation, not only for blacks, but for people all over the world and the hope for emancipation for people who were still enslaved. How's that? That's a nice thought. That would make it a nice holiday, and it would be called Juneteenth. You know, yeah. you know I'm just thinking. Uh, what I don't are you, you going to do on, uh, on Juneteenth? Are you going to hold white sails? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, you saw that stuff that I sent you uh, saying that black on black crime. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. And, and you sent me statistics from like 2008. Well, no, I, I the last one I sent you was 2018. Yeah. And they're basically the same. Yeah. But white and white crime was just as high. So, you know. <laughs> Well, that's so what it's about. Anyway, go back and look at those statistics. You read them in your way, I'll read them in mine. I got to yeah. go because we got people waiting to come on here. I'd ask you if you want to stay, but you probably don't want to. 
Well, uh, maybe maybe later. I mean, I just I don't want you to yell at me. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Am I yelling at you now? Oh, we get along now. All it's right. Like, well, s- stick around. Yeah. Stick around a little bit here. Let's oh. just see here. Let's uh, let me see here. Let me first of all, let me get rid of uh, your name on there. So that yeah, well, we, it's going to be there anyway when you bring in any everybody else. No, it's not. I just in took it off. I just took it off. Oh, I just took it off. Okay. So I'll admit all. There are only three. The three, big name. There are only the big, three other people here. I, was, I thought it was the Zoom name. That, uh, uh, no, uh, no. Hey, they, they, look who's here. There we go. There's uh, there's uh, there's Jer- Charlie and there's uh, Alan and there's uh, Alan. And there's, uh, what what is that? What is that? And there's Phil Meyer. Where's Rocky? I, I want Rocky. Show us Rocky. Is Rocky there, Steve? Yeah. Second. Okay. Gonna get Rocky just for you, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. Wake yeah. Him up. yeah. Let me see here. Oh, is that cute? <laughs> Uh, look at the look at that punum. <laughs> yeah, he's a sweet dog. He's a sweet dog. Is he a sweet dog? Hey, Rocky, are you a sweet dog? Be careful! Don't show him Alex's picture. The dog will go running. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah. So, how are you all guys all doing? Good. My air conditioning's not working in the truck. Oh, geez. And where are you? Where are, where are you? I'm in Fernley. You're Nevada in Nevada right now. That's right there. That's my desert. Rocky. Is Rocky there? Steve? Wait a minute. Who's got the audio up? Jeff. Is, is, is that you, Jeff? Yeah. yeah Just see. turn off turn off your uh, your what do you call it? Your your browser. Just get rid of your browser. Turn off your browser. And, and you'll probably get rid of it. Get rid of your browser. No, you're what? fine now. You're fine now. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Whatever you did. And can you can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, we can hear you. Everything's fine now. Everything's fine. Zoom.us interrupted shutdown. <laughs> In window. Zoom.us reset. interrupted shutdown. Okay. Oh, yeah, boy. <sighs> yeah. My hair. Oh, look who got a sh- look who got shorn. <laughs> I didn't yeah. even recognize you. Yeah, it was getting itchy and crusty. It was all dandruffy. Yeah, you're getting like. I thought for a minute there, I thought it was Robert Natali. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my hair, it just stands up like that, though. I don't like that. I'm going to cut that off. Don't, don't, at least you got hair. Don't, don't, yeah, huh? don't complain about it, okay? <laughs> all right. You know. Uh, hello there, Vernon. Howdy. Yeah, I was going to write you today because I got I got my PSA test back. Yeah, I heard you talking about it earlier. Yeah, no detectable um, PSA. Well, you got me beat. Up. Mine's at point four. Yours at, but that's still good. Anything yeah. and under point five is not concerning. You know, that's what he under told me. under five point zero is well, not concerning. Well, no, no, under uh, uh, z- zero point uh, f- point well, zero five. Right. Vernon's right. If there was no cancer issues and and so forth. If you just had a normal prostate, uh, yeah. fine. Yeah. Fine. But yeah. but you have a, a point zero four, right? Is that what you're saying? Point four, zero point oh, four. Zero point four. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Zero there point four. Less than one. Yeah. <laughs> there he Look is. Who's there? Yeah. Hey. hey. You know, welcome it's, back. It's funny. How's the book it, going? It's, it's funny to me. Uh, 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 okay, we saw it, Robert. It's funny to me that you you don't call. But you decide to call on the night that Phil is staying here. Well, I was about to throw up, so they were my choices. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you oh, know, if, shut if up, you Phil. Throw up, don't Phil. throw up on the Colgate shirt. Phil, hey Phil, what? you're worried. Hey Phil, you're worried about fraudulent voting. Why then? Do some state legislators decide that voting can only take place until five o'clock? Is it because it's a noted fact that only fraudulent voting takes place between, say, five and seven or five and eight? What well, is it about <laughs> giving out water online that has to do with uh, fraudulent uh, voting? I, I'm, I'm interested answer, to know. That? Can I answer that, Alex? Yes. Please. Go right ahead. Please. Okay. 
Uh, there's no problem with handing out water. Uh, there are laws that say you can't hand it out within a certain a number of feet of. No, the- that's not true. I, I, that's not I, true. You're I, full I, of shit as usual. No, what you're what, what you, it says, what the law says is that there can't be electioneering. But handing out a bottle of water without saying a word, well, word is not electioneering. How is it? it? No, you. But you can't give anybody anything. You can't give. Uh, uh, says, no, says no, where? Wrong. Show Phil. me the law. Show us where. They Show that. me the law. Well, George has got a law that says you can't hand out water. So there you go. There you go. Well, they they have that again, Charlie. Oh, bullshit, Bill. Texas. What about closing the polls at five? Oh, you, you do any fraudulent that. folks show up between five yes. and eight? Yes, they want to get to the bar. You know Wait, what the oh, fuck I is see. wrong with you, oh, Callie? What is wrong with you? You're a fucking wait, asshole. Wait, wait, you know wait, that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just be Five nicer. Five and eight, hey, Bill. Hold on a second. Hold on. Where are you all the fraudulent voting? Hey, there's, pl- there's plenty of time. Five and eight. Most states allow voting much past 5 o'clock. It's probably New Jersey because they're fixing the vote in your state. Oh, is that a fact? Is that a fact? Listen, to begin with, Phil, be nicer to Robert, cases please. Of fro- voter fraud in 160 million <laughs> Natalie, votes. Natalie, and this is a problem. No, he's not an asshole. He is yeah, giving he is you. An asshole. Hold on a second. Right. Phil, he's he's oh, giving just you. Just look at that face and no ask call. yourself who's an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm looking at it. You look like Shrek. You know that? You, you ever see Shrek? Yeah, that's a great comparison. Yeah, well, you look like him. Phil, like Phil, Shrek. I don't think well, when you're talking well, about looks, you you've got anything any bragging rights there. Jesus okay. Christ! You know. You don't answer my question. You just call me a name. So answer. You're an yeah, asshole. Hey, my you know, question. No, no, no. That's Why a, wait a minute. Like Phil, 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 wait, hold on, everybody. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Phil, he's right. He no. simply asked you a question, and you didn't answer. No. It. I started name calling. I, I tried to tell him an answer, and no, he you didn't. No, you didn't. No, your your answer no, was you name didn't. calling. What what was the story here? Neutral party. Neutral party. Yeah, I'm a now, neutral party. What happened? I'm marrying Robert Natali next week, so yeah, I'm not neutral. Well, I hope he has a prostate. Uh, so anyway, I try to answer his question, no, but didn't. he kept he kept bu- uh, bunch busting in over me. Uh, he has I no. Still, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let a, a, Alan Alan Alan, Alan yeah. has something to say here. So here's my neutral. I know both of these guys, and they're both okay. Here's my my neutral side is uh, Robert asked Phil a question. Phil tried to answer. Charlie said that he, he mentioned a state, I think Georgia, that yeah, says no, you no, can't Texas, hand out Texas. bottled Wait a minute. That says you can't hand out bottled water. So the question's been answered, but then... No, that Robert wasn't... Wait a minute. That wasn't an answer because they said you couldn't pass out bottled water because they decided to make that into a law. It has nothing to do with any within, legitimate within reason. Within 150 why. feet of the no, electioneering. No in Georgia. And, he, and he told me I'm wrong. He there's doesn't no know. He's an answer. So where did, so where did that go? Wait a minute, wait a minute. How is giving somebody water, especially in... Look, five miles from the pole. You can't give them water in line. Yeah, well, let's look at the right weather. Let, wait a minute. Let's look at the weather across the country. Okay. If we're voting and people are waiting in line to vote, I think passing out water is almost important. You know, who's giving the water out? Maybe it's just good Samaritans. It's a big difference. Who's giving the water out? It doesn't matter. Giving out the water. I get it. The water come from? I get it. The water come from the water gods? Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. So what you're saying? Is black people at the end of the line are so fucking stupid <laughs> that if a Democrat gives them a bottle of water, it just might win a vote. Oh. Why are you putting black people at the end of the line? Are you a moron? Yes, you are. Phil, I'll I'll tell you wait, 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 Phil, I'll be, again, you again, do not. Because if you scratch you, I'll find the racist. Yeah. I don't sure. Yeah. Anyway, Phil, to begin with, <laughs> Don't don't say those things to Robert because Robert has tried to be nice here. He's simply oh, he asking has. you oh, he's he simply does. asking you questions. Uh, yeah, your he, your back is against the wall, and when your back gets against the Alan, wall, you lash out. Wait, listen to me, 
Alex, the man is combative. And all he wants, he doesn't want to ask me a question. He wants to hit me over no, the Phil, head. That's what he wants. Phil, I asked you, Phil, I asked you two questions. The next thing you know, I was being called an asshole. And what you are. What did asshole have to do with the two questions? You didn't like I, them because you had I no answer. I to answer it. And, and, and but your answers any, were invalid. Allie, your answers any, were wrong. Without any proof. You're the one that says the answers are wrong. Show me they that those are answers wrong. are wrong. Show well, us, prove to us, know, Phil, 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 hold it, Phil, Google prove to us Georgia that the answers law. are right. Google huh? the Georgia law. It says that uh, you can't uh, hand out water within a certain no, distance. Mentioned. You cannot <laughs> hand out water in line. <laughs> it does nothing in about line. line. In line. So Charlie says Phil's right, and and Robert just says everybody's wrong. Well, by the way, by the way, by the way, I just, I just, I, wait a second. I just, I just, I want to welcome, I want to welcome Kathleen. And now, um, uh, 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 yes, Mr. Neary. You guys bring everybody in. Uh, I mean, uh, have I come into World War Three or what? No. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, no. I was eating dinner. I was eating dinner, and I had to be part of this show tonight. <laughs> I'm eating it. What a joke. I think I'm going to go make popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let's try to be to a little Phil nicer. Nicer. Phil, yes. Yes. Uh, um, yeah, you guys. John Logan. You guys, um, let's all just take a big deep breath, you guys, and let each other kind of have their say, you know, and don't take it so personally, okay? You know, it's just politics. Well, I don't think but that, uh, I I, quite frankly, down. I have to, Phil, I have to admonish you in that Natalie came on with just some very, what you considered aggressive questions, but they were good, solid questions. And you all of a sudden call him an asshole because he asks the questions. I call him an asshole because he is an asshole. No, but on he's the other not hand, an asshole. No, why, he, he, asked me, he asked me questions ridiculous. in a way he why was... Do I bother, why he do, was, do I waste my time with this shit? I don't know. Oh, see? For fuck's sake. Oh, you see? He's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> we got him back, Phil, and you chased him away. No, oh. no, no. That's not what happened. Robert yeah. Natali is good at coming on when he wants to make his point stab you in the back you're totally unprepared and then he leaves he did the same hey. thing to me. Oh, no 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 I, was I'm sorry, Alan, I disagree i disagree wrong, with you alan, alan. I, I love phil but you're wrong i disagree you know, with you robert and he's losing money on the front team aggressive uh phil phil don't talk about him don't, don't talk about him now that he's gone I turned Devon Booker don't off talk about him now that he's gone he was trying to phil i will not put up with that do not talk about him when he's gone that's not fair I, well i told him what i thought of him okay yeah. okay so drop it Great, but you, you still know. didn't answer his question but gee we've been waiting for him to call for the longest time and now he'll never call again uh, he'll call because I won't be here tomorrow. Phil, yeah. you don't want to hear what we all think of you, so, you know. Thank what you. What was the question anyway? What? Hey, what was the problem with him? That all the fraud takes place then. Why do you have to ban voting from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock? Exactly. Yeah. 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 You never, Phil, you never answered that question. Uh, right. Because I wasn't allowed to because I was being beaten up with a head by the guy. Look, you start talking about the water. Yeah, there's two, there was two questions asked. Yes. Now, not every state stops at five o'clock, but the results have to get in before the news is going to uh, tell you whether they call for one state or another. So it's, according to who, Phil? Well, to begin with, to begin with, you may not realize this, Phil, but it is against the rules of uh, broadcasting. And against the, and pretty much against the law for any kind of channels to call any election until the polls are closed. Right. So therefore, if you close the polls at five, now I'm not for closing the polls at no, five. No, but no. Why would you close the I, polls I, at I, five? I, I, Phil? I'd be perfectly happy if the polls were open for two days. But the the thing is, uh, mm -hmm. when when the if you call these news, uh, these news things want to call the state. They don't call the states until they have. Wait a minute. 
They do not call the states until right. the polls have closed oh. in that state. Right. So what happens is they want to call the state, so they call it when the polls close. Now, if the polls close at 5 in New York, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, that's 8 o'clock in, uh, in California. So uh, by, by no, closing the polls... Uh, 2 o'clock. No, 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 no. Wrong way. That's 3 o'clock. The other way? Yeah. The other way. No, it's 2 o'clock. Well, now we're working on our math skills, aren't we? Uh, well, and that then I was I was incorrect about that. But the I, it sounded like a good idea if if the poll if it was five o'clock in New York. Uh, Phil, Phil, the, all I'm saying and, is, and they called it for a state. Yeah, I do agree with you that I wanted for many years. I argue, okay, that that uh, the TV people should mm -hmm. not start prognosticating who the winner was going to be in a presidential race until the last poll in the country had closed which would be out in california now forget about, about hawaii. hawaii forget about hawaii about that's hawaii. you know fuck yeah. them fuck them you know they're hawaii uh, <laughs> don't do anyway. but the point was that i remember one year uh going to work i was going to do coverage of our of the presidential election at this radio station in San Francisco KMEL and as I'm driving into work the networks call it for Reagan and I just went I think I just should turn around and go back home there's no show to do I found that doing that was wrong because what it did is it disenfranchised part of the country mm -hmm. and made them insignificant yeah, I would like to see that there would be no announcements until uh, California. Well, there wasn't this year. There wasn't for two days, two or three days. Well, that's because uh, that was the same thing almost as what happened with Gore. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, so you, you, there was no, there was, it was not called by, for, by anybody. I think didn't Fox. Because the, we uh, didn't know who won a lot of, in a lot of the close states. Well, Georgia they didn't call, but uh, Arizona they called, Colorado they called. There was a whole bunch. No, of but states. what I'm saying is they never gave the presidency to anybody for about two or three days. Yeah. Until Georgia came in. Until Georgia was, came in. Until yeah. Georgia was finalized. Yeah. yeah. So, so you know, I, I'm being attacked for a position that I don't hold. You know, because I well I then don't want, stand up for it. Well, you should have just said that. You should have just said that you don't believe in that either. He didn't hey, Tony, this is the exact same shit I was talking about that my mm -hmm. friends were going ballistic about on the Friday show. What was that? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> These were fighting with each other. Exactly. Oh. They, my <laughs> friends were like, why in the fuck are you even, uh, all they do is talk over each other. Like, Nobody respects anybody's opinion. Like, for what I, show was this on Friday? Yeah, my friends were like, "Girl, why are you even there?" What happened on Friday? I don't remember the show. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> but you know what is bad tonight? tonight? You know what I was just thinking to this coming in into the conversation, and I'm not sticking up for either party. Oh, but, stick up for somebody for a change. All right. But sometimes <laughs> LARP comes across like a little bit of like. Aggressive? Yeah, like aggressive. Uh, like, you know, it's like, I know. And then Phil kind of tries to get aggressive back. It's sort of like, maybe, I don't know, maybe see it. So they're kind of like clashing with each other. Like, it's almost like two guys like pushing <clears> back and forth. Yeah, it's but, I, but like, I do you know, think, I too do have to admonish Phil that, that he was he rather than come up with a uh, answer to Bob's questions, uh, he uh, t had a tendency to suddenly flat lash back, and his immediate yeah. reaction was, "You're an, you're an asshole." Like I know people nice. joke, right? But that wasn't like Bob, didn't Robert say something on time? Like, oh, I was going to call in, but Tony was talking about his mother. He said something like that, uh, and I wasn't on the air. So you don't say to Bob, "Fuck you." Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. How do you like that? Why you say it to my face? Don't fuck I mean, I'm just joking. I'm just joking, but you know, he could talk shit about other people, but when somebody pushes it back, he hangs up. Yeah. I have a question. That's a pussy. Well, okay, man. That's okay. Right. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. First of all, he didn't artichokes. 
Are you eating artichokes? If you can't yeah, take, if you're my back, garden. don't they're hang delicious. up. Delicious. Yeah. Oh my god, I like, love it. If Alexander you can't take somebody Santa. pushing back, Alan, he hangs up like a baby. Alan. Like, oh, I don't want to get Phil anymore. Alan, that's like a that's pushing. Alan. No. Don't fuck with my husband. Mute. Mic's off. You're <laughs> right. Your mic's like off, Alan. Mic's off. Muted my head. Your mic's off. Go ahead. Yeah, but I mean, it's Bush League. Your mic's speak off. Speak louder. Yeah. Speak louder. Your mic is off. Speak is You're off. You're muted. Are, is he muted? Lucky you. Yeah. I was muted. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, Robert. <laughs> sorry. So, Robert comes on the show. Yeah. First time in two months with a sign that says, it's Phil kind of a joke and it's kind of cute, but says filibuster. Right. Yeah, I do wish and, I thought of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, well, okay, but it, it it's not the kind of way you come in and start attacking somebody. Thank you, Al. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I you know. And, and take a joke a little bit. All right, Phil's being aggressive back, but he kind of. But Robert, Robert has never been good with jokes. I mean, I made a comment while he was coming on a regular basis about something negative about New Jersey and he bitched about it for a week. And that's mm -hmm. unfortunate because, yeah, I mean, you know, I meant nothing should, by it. We should have, in, a, in the future, they should both be required to take a couple bong hits before they come on the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I could do drugs soon, why could he? Yeah, why I'm not? I'm ready to pop my mother's pills the, the evening. <laughs> that's a bong hit for you. I'm joking. <laughs> what? I, I yeah, yeah. Yes, Jeff. My question, and I could be totally wrong, but if I was voting, say to be president, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to vote, and I say, okay, and it's going to be six o'clock when it when it when it closes. Except I'm already in there, and there's two hundred of us. Do they kick us out? No, no. no. If you're still in line, they keep you, keep you, let you stay. Yeah, right. To. So it so will take longer. <laughs> yeah, but the kind of thing they passed in uh, in Texas <clears throat> was really meant to keep blacks from voting. Okay, let's yeah, be very it honest is, it about is bad. it. Uh, you know, it is Jim Crow tactics, and uh, it was wrong. It was definitely wrong, and I think that what we, you know, we, I, I don't think we need to nail down uh, and, and limit the amount of things people can do when it comes to voting. We should increase them. You know, we should uh, make sure that Americans have, every American has an equal chance to vote. Yes, uh, to Charlie. Yeah, I, the thing is, this was the highest turnout of voting, voter turnout in history. We had over 150 million people vote. Mm -hmm. So what's the Republican response to that? We're going to make it harder for everybody to vote. So we'll never have 150 million people vote again. Not what they do. Uh, that is know, exactly what they, they do. Now, what they, they, the Attorney General of Texas admitted that if he hadn't me. banned all those, all those ballots, those mail-in ballots, Trump would have lost Texas. Look, so uh, they banned that to, 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 to deliberately keep the vote total down in Texas. The comparison. Now, I'm sorry, can I finish my point? You know, jo Georgia got a lot of backlash from Coca-Cola and a number yes, of. I can't finish my point. I thought you did. You no, want I asked if I could finish my point. Oh, okay. Go ahead, finish it. Okay, so Texas is trying to pass the exact same law that Georgia passed. And there's no distances, nothing. It's period. You cannot give anybody water in line. They're trying to limit, cut down the number of, of uh, early voting days. They're trying to ban voting on Sunday. Why? Everybody in the world knows that a lot of black churches march all of their people down to vote on Sunday. So who is that? Who's not going to be able to vote if they ban voting on Sunday? Now. I'll, now I'm, I'm done. I got my hand up. I'd like to make my statement here. <laughs> like Coca-Cola, for instance, that uh, uh, made uh, uh, an issue over uh, Georgia uh, passing certain uh, voting rights uh, yeah. issues. Mm -hmm. Now, what they found was that what Georgia 
uh, had passed gave many, many more hours uh, in the day as well as other things as in comparison to Maryland. Now, Maryland is Joe Biden's state and uh, the Delaware. Delaware. Del- Delaware. Delaware. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is that Are you changing going to change your argument now that it's not Maryland? Oh, oh he's dog dying. The state was <laughs> didn't have anywhere near what Georgia was providing in, in their thing. But these the uh, the that's a what about ism, Phil. I don't understand what it has to do with what Georgia did. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Well, because Georgia has even more progressive voting rights laws than uh, Biden's state. Was and before the and before their legislature passed all these laws, they were even more progressive. Yeah. The diff- difference so why are is, they obstructing? Where is it going? Why are they obstructing? Because they lost. No, because they want the they want because the election. They lost, Phil. They lost. They lost. That's yeah. why they're doing can it, I, because they lost. Can I interject? Yeah, sure. You, you, you know what the tell is about the Republicans? They kept mm-hmm. on saying for months and months, oh, we've got to have voter ID. We must have voter ID. So Joe Manchin brought up the, uh, you know, his bill. He brought it up there to the Senate, and it gave them voter ID. They voted against it. That's a tell. They don't fucking want to have anything to do with letting, you know, people of color to vote. That's what it's all about. It's what simply else, a power grab. What else was in that bill that they voted against? Fuck me. They didn't even vote against the bill today, Phil. What they voted against was having a debate. Yeah, they didn't yeah. want to debate it. Yeah, they're just, yeah. Isn't debate a good thing, Phil? <laughs> you would think. Not in my family. Isn't debate Master. a good just thing? Just know, Tony, I love you. If they kill us, I love you. <laughs> My uncle may drop dead because he can't breathe. What the people. hell is going on here? I'll check you that out. I'm, I'm going to order lunch to go too. If he goes. Tony had I'm a lot of coffee to today. <laughs> yeah, Uh-oh. I'm actually like drinking that. apple juice. You're drinking Uh-oh. apple juice. Tony, Tony, got coffee. But it's <laughs> fermenting in your stomach. Exactly. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh. Republicans leave my Tony alone. 1980. That if, if more people vote, Republicans lose. Paul Ryrick said that in 1980. That is the Republicans true. Uh, behind closed doors have been saying that for Cal- years. California, they, they have to keep the number of people voting down. California's and following New York. Doing. California's following New York oh, now. Yeah. Uh, we now have our own, uh, you know, uh, COVID vaccine oh, uh, registry that you get. That the state will issue you a little thing uh, electronically mm-hmm. that says that you got your vaccine. But do you know that that's illegal in Texas? Yeah. Texas well, but it's not in California, not no, in New York. No, but it's illegal in Texas. Well, no, Texas and, and I, I just don't understand that. Why you would pass anything mm-hmm. that, that, that positively... Because the governor's an idiot? Oh, well, right. that, that's true. First. Why wouldn't you want voter ID? You know what he wants? He wants everybody in a wheelchair. That's his hope for the future. <laughs> yeah. we'll wheel them out in 150 degrees. Hope yeah. for the best. <laughs> Don't give him water. You know, you just, know by, I'm by, sorry. By, oh, wait a minute. You yeah, guys are arguing and Hold I'm on. plugged into Dean Martin. That's Amore. And it's like a fucking John Woo movie. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, 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 Mr. Nunn has his hand up for it. What this vote today tells me is a confirmation that Republicans, and this is not just recently, Republicans have adopted a policy that they don't care to govern. All they care about is power. That's what we. That's a good point. Yeah. What's that? That's a good point. That that's exactly what we think about you guys. It doesn't matter what you think about me or I think about you. Look at the history, Phil. Look at what the Republicans have been for and what they've been against for the mm-hmm. last 30 years. They've been for uh, the First Amendment. They've been for... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The First Amendment? They're for the First Amendment? Who's not for the First Amendment? Uh, the Democrats, obviously. Oh, bullshit. Uh, I'm a Democrat. I'm uh, uh, Phil, Phil, prove to us, give us many facts here, why we don't believe in the First Amendment. Right. Uh, if you're uh, a woke kind of person. No, wait a minute. Hold what on a second. Person? Oh, that has nothing to do with, it has nothing to do with Democrats. Facebook and Twitter. 
They they are kind of suppressed. Well, how do you go? That's how do you go from the question I asked you to Facebook and Twitter? I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on Twitter. Well, he's he's trying to say that they, they, who runs Facebook, right? Like you know, that's another thing going around. Uh, other people that don't agree with them uh, off their platform, and and Trump wanted to uh, eliminate that uh, that code that allowed uh, Facebook and Twitter to not be a news service. Uh, uh, what was it? it was once, uh, so so that uh, you know they could control the. What does the, this have to do with? Uh, it, you're you're family. talking about the fact that Hello? Democrats. And we have to look upon that as the, my family. <laughs> as the Democratic. My uncle goes and went at the Demo, as the Democratic Party that as a whole we are trying to do away with the First Amendment. Hey, Kevin's here. How you doing, Kevin? Hi, hi, Kevin. It's it's like the old days, Kevin. Hey, that's so, for. <laughs> What's Mitch McConnell so afraid of, Bill? Why does he not even want to debate voting rights? I'm not sure. I don't think Mitch McConnell... I'll tell you why. i tell you why. It's power. Okay. He has the power to block it, so he's going to. No, I, I tell you something when it comes to Mitch McConnell. I'm a little concerned about his relationship with China, and I... <laughs> I voted for the Chinese guy today. Is you voted for you voted for Yang? Are you out of your fucking mind? I did. My mother liked him, Alex. So well, she thought he was against Donald Trump. what your mother more. like? Your I, mother's I think dead, he's a great guy. Tony. But I put the I other guy second, too. Eric Ra Eric the cop. I hate him too. I know. What I was doing a best of five. I did it for my mom because she wanted. Why? Because she thought he should be getting a grand a month. Right on. I said, Mom, I'm going to do this both for you. I was in the booth there doing it. I right on. It. Yang is a great guy. I, I, I listen to Yang, and you know, he's in, he was choosing to get money. Nobody's going to give her anything. I told him. Can you believe this, Kevin? What's going on here tonight? Yang is forward thinking. Can you believe what's going on here tonight, Kevin? Right, he's got this. Kevin's popcorn. got the popcorn. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Yang is the, one of the first guys on a national level about jobs going away, having to retrain people, and, and a new economy. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, no, <laughs> Robotics. I want, I want to be Chinese. I think it would be Asian. Trucker Steve. Trucker Steve. No. You're, in, you're in the middle of the uh, automated trucks, you know, with, uh, uh, you know, where there would be a driver. Uh, you're familiar with that, right? Crickets. Yeah, no. I don't need to be heard you. Well, you know, they're, they're talking about eliminating uh, truck drivers by oh, having... Yeah. How are they going to get the shit there? Throw it? Automated trucks. They're going to throw Automated it. Come on, trucks. you got to drive it there. Drive the truck. If oh. that happened, truck drivers would have to be retrained for other... Yeah, other yeah, truck. You know, they yeah. got to be able to drive the shit there. You know something? Know this is turning so into a thing that is making no. my head Jesus. just throb. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, answer. it's just dropping. Phil, Phil, you never answer a question. You always How divert it into some other answer. Yeah. Oh, I'm a salesman, but I asked <laughs> truckers. Yeah, well, you're not selling fucking carpet right now. I love Phil because he's the Houdini of answers. <laughs> yeah, you can get out of a straitjacket. But I, even I, I put my in trust in Phil. Yeah, we were talking about Yang, and I said that Yang is forward thinking. He realizes he's not forward that forward thinking. Yes, he's just, he, what he's doing is he's he's uh, he's uh, what's what's the word I'm looking at uh, looking for here? He's just pandering to his uh, to the crowd. Or Steve a question not. you know he's he's, he's the, the kind of guy that the, he's the kind of guy right. that tells you he's gonna give you a chicken in every pot and he's gonna kiss every baby you That's know not, and I don't like those as answers not what he said and I asked trucker Steve a question because his industry is going to be uh, affected by the things that Yang is talking about which is automation and <laughs> You know, and and so what they want to do is well, they want to make sure trucker, that trucker Steve looks really worried, doesn't he? He's been trying to answer the question. Yeah. Okay. Will, will, the you question. Let, will you let him answer the question, Phil? What is the question? Yeah. Well, oh, the trucking industry. I don't know about the automated trucks. About automated right. trucks. Steve, go ahead. Steve. Uh, the thing is, just, they're making. They are making automated trucks. 
you still have to have to have a driver with it because for example if you're going over donner pass who's going to chain up the tires ah robots okay yeah 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 aliens good, good they, point. they make they make chains that you could just press a button and the chains will uh, flop out and go on, correct? He's got the popcorn, no. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that pretty well put you out to bed there, uh, Phil. Oh, no, that, there's, there's, he just said my no. Mother. My mother's hey, dead. my contention way back when you started this, how many years ago, my was who's going to haul the hazmat? Yeah. My mother-in-law is spinning in her grave, huh, Tony? She is. I mean, Phil's got her plate. If he breaks it, he's paying for it. Your mother-in-law is spinning in her grave? Because if I didn't vote, she was going to want me tonight in my sleep. Yeah, I, see, I think I think Phil is confused with his bedroom. When he pushes a button and all the chains come out of the ceiling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. <laughs> No, it's all the pulp cards she's got. Oh, Lord. They don't even the pen pouch got so many cards. We're don't getting even... about every other word, Phil. Every picture. We're getting Press about every other word, Phil, because every time somebody talks, you get muted. Yeah, well, guess what? What? I, I got news for you. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, no, he's going to pull a robin and leave. No, pull a buster. Going to my no, kitchen? He's going to do on. something. You can only wish, Tony. What's, uh, what's he doing? What's he doing? What is he doing? What's he doing? Taking all this pants. I don't know. If he flashes us, I'm going. I'm going in my room. <laughs> what is that? Phil? Don't fuck with Phil. I got. I got my. Uh, what is that? Here it is. Is yeah. that an accordion or what? Yeah. I'm afraid to ask what he paid. That's a big ass accordion. That's not gonna help anything. What is it, Eliza? It's not any Phil Spector over here. Hey, be quiet a second, Tony. <laughs> Alex, you had him in the I would have fly on the wall when he was in your apartment. I would have loved to see that. <laughs> that that's the new the Enigma movie. machine. Right. Really? I got to get another apple juice because this one's yeah. good. Have some coffee. That too. sound is called the wall of conservatism. <laughs> I'm funny in my room. I, I know you're having fun. You're having fun? You having fun? Enjoying I am. Really? <laughs> and uh, Brian, how you doing? You doing okay, I like Brian? Oh, oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm good. And, having and dinner. Kevin, you know, Kevin, I, I, I was relaxing, having dinner downstairs, and right when I saw the two coming to collide, I had to run up here and just be part of this. The yeah, Holocaust. yeah. Well, but and then, you haven't said much. Yeah, but now I don't he, need to tonight. Can't even say anything. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, Kevin and I, and uh, uh, this is no uh, no uh, secret. Uh, Josh and uh, I and Kevin and Patrick all get together on Saturday nights and we do a Zoom call with each other and it's not broadcast or anything else. We just sit there and talk for about an hour and a half to two hours. And the other night I suggested that one night this week we're not gonna do our normal panel. I'm just gonna use them because it is so civil and it is so nice. And yes, we do disagree on things, but it's, 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 it's breathable, you know. This is a little on the harsh side tonight, right, Kevin? <laughs> Kevin's not even paying attention. He's looking at something. Sorry, I'm watching the hockey game. It's almost over. No, I was talking about our, our Saturday night discussions and how, how, how decent they are, you know? Yeah, it's nice. And how smart they are, you know? And uh, um, I look forward to them. So we're going we're gonna to do one of them uh, uh, it, in place you know, of the regular while, while show. Phil and Robert week. were going at it, we had 50 viewers on YouTube. No, we didn't. I'll send you the no, link. No, I didn't. Okay. I, I like I, Phil. I check it all the I time. I have not seen Phil in months. Ooh. Yeah. He's on every time. And your tonight. point is? Well, I haven't seen Phil in months. I like Phil, for yeah. fuck's sake. Whatever. Honey, we can have him <laughs> for uh, Sunday dinner. Why is everybody got to make such a big deal out of everything? Uh, I know. God. Yeah. I fight. They're all on their schmata. I'm only if Robin will call back. Well, I'm, I, I, you know, I mean, uh, Vernon and I are two I people. I like the fact that I stood up to him. That, uh, yeah, I think he's Phil, right about Phil, that is what he didn't know. dislike. I think it gets to a point where he kind of gets agitated so much that he doesn't want to have to put up with it emotionally. 
later, and if it could have been a very nice conversation. If you hadn't okay. suddenly called him an asshole. You were the and first one, Shrek Phil. Too. You were the first one. And he uh, called him Shrek, too, Alex. You called him Shrek. Check the recording. You started out Check with the recording. Shrek. Which was a very Go back good movie. and watch the show. He started out with you calling him Shrek and then calling what him an the? asshole. You and know, he, I, I he told you just him agreed. It was Remember a good the cook and He, he simply him. asked you a question. Oh, yeah. 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 And it wasn't something like, why is this night different from all other nights? It was an actual... An what color are your eyes? Brown? <laughs> Mm. But uh, Tony's definitely funny. had yes, coffee. Yes, yes, Charlie. I'm joking. Let's actually. go to Civil Charlie. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> no pressure here. Yeah. So I was just. I just say, I understand Phil's agitation. Not Phil. Uh, Robert's agitation <laughs> because over and over again, Phil kept dodging the question. He would not give an answer to Robert's question, and Let he it. got mad and he got upset because he asked him two questions. All he wanted was Phil to answer the questions, and Phil goes all over the world to Timbuktu and back without answering the question. Finishing it off with you're an asshole. So the question. Yeah, and then he starts calling him names. Yeah, he did not. didn't call Phil names. Yeah, he did. No, he did. Bill did. Buster. Oh, come That's on. That's not a name. That's, That's a joke. That's not a name. Asshole's a name. Moron's a name. Those are two words that Phil used for Robert. And it's two words that I believe that he is. That doesn't. Oh. Well, you're, you're not going to get somebody to have a civil conversation with you if you call them those names. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. She didn't want to. Some stones. Yeah. Go ahead. I dare you to call Jeff an asshole. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right now. But. Yeah. I mean, if there's any reason, if there's anybody you should never call an asshole, it's Jeff. You no. know. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Huh? The only I like, look, I like Phil, but you know, Phil, you can irritate the shit out of people. Yeah, I, I, and I that's kind one of his good points. Yeah. I mean, hey, it's I my, it's my, it's my right? fault because I asked Phil if he wanted to come on and be on the show. I thought that was great. You know, and uh, then uh, the, Natalie comes on, and I'm going. Why is he calling tonight? This is the no, one reason he doesn't he call. I heard Natalie call. I said, this is you know, and so he called so fine. Uh, and uh, um, uh, he came what? on to stab Phil in the back. Well, he came on to ask Phil uh, those two questions. Yeah. Bullshit. Uh, Charlie, bullshit I love Bullshit is right. Bullshit to you, Phil. That's what he came on. And he didn't start getting upset until you refused to answer the questions. And he, before he left. He the head with a bat. No, before he left, he said, why do I bother? You know, he wanted to have a conversation. True. He wanted to have an intelligent conversation, Phil. And then he asked the question, what's, why is there fraud between 5 and 8 o'clock? And he wants to talk about what ha what's happening in Delaware. What in does that have to do with, with, with Georgia? Georgia's what? the one cutting down people's access to vote. I don't no. care if there's less access in Delaware. They're not cutting back. Charlie, he wouldn't let me answer the question. He said you answer, you wouldn't answer it. You wouldn't answer, answer it. Answer it. You're still you... waiting for an answer, Phil. Phil, he asked you a question. You could have directly answered it, but I you did. didn't. No, you did not, Phil. Go back and listen to the show. I told you that I didn't care if there were two days of polls. You did that after he was gone, Phil. Oh, he did it after he was gone. And, and I said, you know, that the, the fact that the polls close at 5, I have nothing to do with that. And I don't necessarily support it. You know, he didn't say that when he was on. And, and you know what's funny? I was telling my dad. You know, I was tell I was talking about blah blah blah, and my friends were like, "Fuck that, mf'er, blah blah blah." If he doesn't like it, he just fucking hockey pucks it off to the left. And then I, I, you know, there's this guy Phil, and he hasn't been on. He has to be on individually. Which is sad because once he's on, everybody goes fucking ballistic on him. Good grief. Well, yeah. it's so, like Charlie Brown on steroids. Totally. Thank you. I love you, Tony. I'm sorry. All My mother would be so happy. To answer a question. Alex he never answers Alex. a question. He oh, goes shit, off and makes some joke. Charlie. Or he yeah. talks about something that's not even a, not even a connected. Well, well wait a minute. Question. Wait a minute. Hold on. Is, hold on a second. Does that remind you of anybody? What? Vladimir Putin. 
Black, well, no. black, that oh, or Donald Trump. Trump. Or Donald Trump. Yeah, that's the that you took a page out of Donald Trump, uh, Phil. Uh, you can ask an, a yes or no question, and you will never get a that's yes or no answer. answer. Yeah, that's not good. Yes or no, he he wanted to uh, beat uh, back and forth and try to make a try to make me into an asshole. The 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 guy is no fucking good. Oh, and, Jesus. You know, you know, I told you, Phil, I, I, I admonished you earlier, and I hoped you would take it to heart. All right. When somebody isn't here, you lay off of them. All right, I'll lay off of them. But yeah. you already know your lights <laughs> out. And, and by the way, by the way, I've done that for you. I am. Charlie, I tried to answer the question, and I answered it to Alex when I was given the opportunity, which was I am not in favor of closing the polls. And I was perfectly happy if they had him open for two days. And as he, far as but you said that after the fact. You didn't say that while Robert was here. Yeah, he said that after, Phil. Even a chance. I wasn't. The, the guy just kept batting his uh, his thing at me, uh, trying. He just kept asking you the two questions over and over again because he wanted an answer. Week, I would have answered them. Okay. One is. All right. Care if how late the polls are open, and two, as long as there's free, free and fair elections, and mm -hmm. two, if if somebody wants to hand water out okay. nonpartisan, like the we've uh, already been through this, Phil. We've already of, we've already well, been through it, Phil. Huh? We've already been through it over and over and over again. When there's did I nothing. There's nothing in the Georgia law, Phil, that says it's okay if the <laughs> League of Women Voters hand out water. They say nobody can hand out water. Well. I, that's not my rule. I know. We're not saying it is. But you're a Republican, and the Republicans, Republicans made these rules. Holy shit. By the way, by the way Phil, I would <laughs> suggest <laughs> next time you use uh, Zoom, you go yeah. in there and uh, take automatic audio off. I don't because, have water. Uh, well, I think that there's a problem because you're being muted every time somebody talks, yeah. where everybody else can talk over everybody else, and they don't mute each other. Yeah. No, it's okay. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I shouldn't. I shouldn't yeah, make him stop. I can't. Yeah. So, you know what? No wonder my son's godfather, who I consider my nephew, in four weeks we fly out of the country to look for property, because he said, "Listen, not only is there going to be a race war within the United States, there's going to be an ethnicity war because of all this bullshit." Wait, isn't a race war and an ethnicity <laughs> war the okay, same thing? Mean, no, <laughs> no. I mean, we have Guatemalans, Mexicans being considered whites, Asians considered yeah, whites. But, but, but wait a minute. What, I mean, a, race, race and ethnicity is are two different no, things. No, they aren't. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. How many here would agree Skin that color? race and ethnicity are the same thing? Really? Uh, you, uh, I'm the only one? Yeah, I'm wrong. No, I, I, yeah, I you know what? I have people that will tell you differently. Well, okay, well, tell us. What's the difference? Asian? Good night, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was there. Gee, we've gone from Tony with good night, Mom, to now yeah. to Kathleen with good night, no, Dad. No, I mean... Asians. I mean, I was on conference calls today where there were blacks that were like, holy shit, you know, they're they're taking away all of our accelerated classes in the name of um, equity. And they're freaking out going, you know what? It's our own yeah, people. But, but, but again, 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 it's like it's, it's like forward, with Phil. I, I asked you, backwards. but I asked you to tell me what the difference is between ethnicity and race. I don't see much of a difference. Skin color. Well, that's race. And, and they're trying ethnicity to... is Mexican, Guatemalan, Colombian, Mexican, Asian, Black, North Korean, Asian, South Korean. Yeah, Korean. okay. Those are all races. No, not to them. No, because Koreans are... Why should an Asian person be deemed an oppressor when they've only been in this country for two years? Who calls yeah, them oppressors? Can they get in two Who years? calls them oppressors? Uh, the teachers, yes, because of their skin color. Can I we have a 13-year-old who committed suicide uh, because she was in a class mm -hmm. where it was 90% black, and the teacher said, no, 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 you are white, so you're an oppressor. 
and she and and she was only one of three people but she wasn't white she was from she had only been in this country for two years and thank you jesus these parents that were predominantly black paid for her funeral mm. because they were like oh my god why are they saying that she's an oppressor because of the color of her skin when she's only been in this country for two years well isn't that isn't that do isn't the last it, 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 isn't, isn't, years. isn't that a bully culture we're talking about there yeah that's what's happening yeah yeah but that's bullying i'm sorry that is what is happening well, you don't I, have kids alex alex you don't have kids oh, so you well, don't please know. don't be prejudiced against me because i don't have kids I was well, careful where I let my sperm go, you know. Well, I'm telling you, this is what's going on, and people are like, what the hell? Yeah. I well, blame call him an America. asshole. Call him an asshole. Maybe he'll leave. No, I won't do that. <laughs> you know what's sad, then? It's almost like my sister's a school teacher. She sees a lot of this. She teaches yes. early grades. Oh, no. She there's a lot. Look, look, look. Kids are cruel with but each other. But it's changed, though. The culture's no. changed. And so are teachers. Definitely, the administrators are off the wall now. And there's thank you. Is he right about that? There is so much divisiveness in in politics in the schools. That's why you can look at somebody that happens to be a registered Republican and automatically say they think this way or they think that way. Yep. That's the divisiveness. That yeah, he's right about. That's a good point. Absolutely. Who made it okay to be a bully? For the last four years, yeah. exactly who well, made it okay to be a bully? Who's yeah. the can biggest I, bully in the United States since 2016? Can uh, I pose a question to Phil and let him answer it? Probably just ask a question. Let him answer that. Okay. S simple question, Phil. Do you believe that the Republicans stand for free and fair elections? And yes, tell me, absolutely. you do. Yes. You do. Yes. Well, expand on that. Explain to I me why they do. John, I believe all Americans stand for free and fair elections, because oh, that. Uh, you, do you think? That, okay, can I ask a question? Could you explain to me what's going on in Arizona right now? Those people doing that. Uh, that audit, is, do they do they believe in a free and fair election? Why not do an audit? I mean, if if the They've audit done three of them already, Phil. Yeah. They've been counted. Can I ask you another question? Both what they're doing right now is against Earth, federal law. The show, they should all be right. put in jail. All was, the senators of the Arizona Senate should go to jail because what they're doing is against federal law. Okay, Judge Vernon. He's, well, the ballots are in fucking Montana. Why should Arizona ballots be in Montana? <laughs> hey, with oh. that, hold it, hold it. Hear the music? Already, yeah, that oh boy, Phil, thank you, back. Jesus. Come back, we need someone to beat up on. <laughs> thank oh, you. everybody, let's all love each other, okay? <laughs> um, um, thank, you so <laughs> thank you so much, thank you so much, Phil. Hug, group hug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Group. thank you so much, Phil. Come thank on. you, Alan. Thank you, Charlie. I appreciate it, Trucker Steve. Thank you. Uh, for letting Phil know that you don't have automatic push button chains. Um, uh, also, John Larkin, uh, uh, Vernon, always great to see you. Uh, my old pal under 0 0.5, uh, yeah. 0 0.5. Uh, the, uh, Jeff, oh God, we love you. Hey, you too, Charlie. And Kathleen, what can I say? Love you, dear, in spite of our- I'm little... a salty broad, but I love you, Yeah, Alex. I know, I know, I never take it seriously. Good, uh, and, because I paid her $10 to say that. Also, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin just dumped out here, and uh, uh, there, uh, excuse me, and uh, there's Brian. He's uh, uh, sitting there. Thank you, Brian, for joining us tonight. We appreciate it and coming in a bit uh, earlier than you intended to, because you didn't want to miss this one. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye at you so that we can uh, say goodbye. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our uh, citizen panel for tonight. Uh, let me get rid of them here. Yeah, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the intersection, and he'll be here forming a new citizen panel using Skype at GapNet Live. 
Uh, I shall be back again tomorrow night. There's a sports show at about 8.30. The Franchise MC. I'll see you at 10.30. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And by the way, if you haven't gotten a vaccination, get one. Be part of the party. Party.